What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. All right, guys, it is Friday morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone. I hope you guys have a pleasant start to your day as well as the remainder of your day. But today, I am standing here deciding if I should head to Baltimore today or tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, in any event, by the time you see this video, I probably would have already made my way up to Baltimore and PA. But I want to show you guys something on my countertop because I bought something that freed up a lot of my counter space. So I want to show you guys what that is right quick. I bought this beautiful, beautiful red cutlery set. I mean, this is this is amazing. I love this. And you know it had to be red. When I saw they had a red option, I mean, it was a no-brainer to me. But what I did was, I put, as you can see, I put all of my cutleries and everything in here, as opposed to keeping them in the bottom. As opposed to keeping them in here. And I put the Lazy Susan in here, cause she lazy, you know, she don't wanna do nothing. So the Lazy Susan is there and look how much counter space I, I gained. I mean, this is, I love it. Y'all know, ain't no fancy edit in here. I'ma pick y'all up, all, all 20,000 plus y'all. I'ma pick y'all up and move y'all where I want you guys to be. <laughs> But look at this counter space. Oh my goodness. Chop, 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 chop. Bam. Chop, 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 chop. Put it back. Bam. Chop, 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 chop. Put it back. Oh my gravy. I am loving, loving this countertop. It is one of the main reasons why I selected this type of trailer as well as the counter space in the back. But this, this is it right here. Anywho, this morning, guys, I am going to be making, I hope you guys can hear me because I have my air conditioner on. It's like 9.30 in the morning and it's already kind of warming up outside. I went for a little walk and whew, took a shower, changed clothes, and it's already, I'm already feeling that it's gonna be a 90 degree day today. The next three days is going to be up to 90, 91 degrees. All right, so I'm going to start my day off with some breakfast and I'm going to use this cooked ham. This was given to me by David and Lucia uh, at the Arizona meetup and I have not used it. And the expiration date isn't until 29, 28, 1, 3, 28. So it still should be good. I'm going to cut up some of this cooked ham I'm gonna make some eggs, some scrambled eggs, along with a couple of potatoes. So let's get crack -a and at it. <laughs> so how easy it was for me to pick that up out of there. I hope these eggs are good. And once again, my lack of my lack of uh, egg cracking skills. Let's do three. Alrighty. We're gonna whip these up right quick. Put a little hot sauce. 
little bit of salt, and a whole lot of pepper. A whole lot of pepper. Give that a little mix up. Put that on the side, put the eggs back. Now let's work on the potatoes. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> I love it, boy. Let's get some of the teeny weeny, teeny ones out. I don't need a whole lot of them. Some of the teeny weeny ones out. Well, I chop these up. Chop these up as small as possible because I want them to cook really quickly. Don't need a whole lot of them because I'm just going to try to make a one portion meal. And you know, it can get out of hand right quick become a whole lot instead of a one portion meal. So I don't want that to happen. All righty. That's pretty easy. Now let's get to working on this cooked ham. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda, cause it's crumbling up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it up. You know what I should fix too? I should fix some grits. I bet you this will be good for some grits. I say good for some grits. Good with some grits. All right. That's plenty right there. Maybe I should wrap that up in aluminum foil. Might hold better.
I need some more aluminum foil. I'm about running out. Whew. All right, guys, got my chopped up ham there. I'm gonna go ahead and get the potatoes going first. Let's do a little bit of seasoning on these potatoes. And we are off to the races. this delicious delicious breakfast that's coming up I love seeing the pepper all up on the food and everything. Especially like, ooh, something in my eye. Especially like when in pasta and everything and I put that pepper in there and I see the little black pepper specks all through it. Oh, God, that just makes my cooking experience. <laughs> Once again, thanks Ella and Eddie for sending me these beautiful red plates. I use them very often. The color is red. Remember the uh, Wizard of Oz? <laughs> you got to be seen in red. We're gonna put a little bit more oil in here. The potatoes are brown. Definitely gonna need some more oil. <clears throat> I 
Ah, uh, that was a little too much. And I certainly didn't know. I just thought about it. I put some salt in my food when this ham probably got some salt on it too. too much oil in there y'all. This is not going to be the most uh, <laughs> visual meal. It's going to be like an omelet. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make an omelet. in there because <laughs> we're gonna make it out of an omelet there we go oh, yay good thinking Anthony good thinking let's put some more pepper on there Shaping up to be some kind of concoction here. I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. my top on there let that cook like that and then I may not even have to like flip it over into an omelet style I might can just put it keep it just like that slide it right down on that plate and BAM Woo! an open face omelet ha <laughs> ha <laughs> right, don't mess it up Anthony don't mess it up
Oh my goodness, I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't want it to burn. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give that a couple more minutes. And, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> This butter smells so good. Y'all know what's up. The garlic, the garlic, the garlic and herb from Kerry Gold. All right, guys, I think it's done. I hope it's done. Hey guys, this is it, this is it. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared to taste it. <laughs> I am scared to taste it. That's a lot of egg. One more, one more uh, fork for. tasty it's not very tasty but it's tasty the bites that have the ham in it are tastier a little tastier the bites that don't have ham in it like just a potato or even maybe just the egg is a little less tastier but it is definitely tasty now what I should have done or what I hoped that I should have done. Oh, that don't even make sense, Anthony. That I hope that I should have done. Lord have mercy. Is it would have been better if I cut up some sausages in there as well. You know, I let the ham be my primary meat, and it's not enough in this um, omelet, so to speak. So if I had some bits of bits of uh, sausages cut in there. Bites with hot sauce is really, that's really good. Oh yeah. It's not bad at all, it really isn't. It really is not that bad at all. Definitely not one of my most eye-catching meals. Yeah. The pieces with the ham, the bites with the ham is, is, is it's starting to taste a lot better. 
Yeah. Look at that cheese. If I made it in a bigger frying pan, it probably would have spread it out more and gave me more capability of flipping it into an omelet. But that's okay. I only got a little teeny pan to clean. It's not bad. It really is not that bad. I know I keep saying that, but it seems like each bite is getting just a, a little bit better, a little bit tastier. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this up. And then I'm gonna head back to Home Depot, get some more pavers so that I can finish out my little thing, my little project that I got going on out there. All right, see you guys in a little bit.
Uh oh, went a little crooked there. <laughs> Trying to go straight at y'all. <laughs> Oh man, that was crooked. <laughs> It is a nice, <clears throat> it is a nice day out today. I don't even know what the temperature is. It feels good. And it's only one other person here. Woo -hoo! All right, guys, I am back from the pool. I went around to the office and picked up my Amazon box here. So I have a couple of things. Uh, one is for the deck here, and I'll show you guys what that is right now. I bought another one of the same uh, color uh, rugs that I have down on the deck. I really like these colors in this rug, and I decided to extend it a little bit further up. And then the brown carpet that I have right there, I'll move that up a little further towards the end of the deck. So let's do this right quick. And honestly, I forgot what's in the other box. I, I don't even know what, I don't even remember what I bought. But <laughs> I'm trying to think, what was it? I have to, I'll see. But first, I gotta move all this stuff out the way and then I can put down this second carpet. So let's do that first. I hope that's not too, yeah, see this? Ah. Oh my goodness. Let me raise y'all up just a little bit. Let's put y'all down. Let me take y'all see how the sun is on this side. The sun might be worse down this way. Let's see. Yeah, we'll put y'all there.
them talk, make them talking, talking. Make them run, make them run, make them to Shakala. So I kind of just extended it with the same color rug, which I really, really like. And then I put the brown one up that end. I'm not really liking the brown one right there. I think I'm gonna end up putting the brown one back underneath uh, the screen room. But yeah, I like it. It's pretty cool. All right, friends, I decided not to go back to Home Depot and finish up the pavers. I'll do it in the next few days. So that's going to be a wrap for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.